I would like to call the meeting of the Board of Selectmen on Friday, July 2nd to order at 12.03 p.m. Could I have a roll call, please? Chas Sexton Duranian present. Veronica Kell present. Um, uh, the meeting is being tape recorded and also it should be live on channel nine. I, it will be posted after the fact on the town's YouTube channel. Um, additions and deletions. Um, uh, do you have any, um, Chas? I do not. Okay, I will, um, under finances, I don't have it listed, but I did want to talk about the owl that we test drove on Tuesday night. So that would be my only addition. All right. Um, uh, were you able to take a look at the minutes of June 21st? Yes, I did. Excellent. Um, any changes that you would like to see? Um, I did not. I, I want to thank you for um, doing the initials. <laughs> <laughs> I did switch it. <laughs> I, I, I might not have been completely consistent. I had I had already started the minutes when you requested that, and so I might have missed a few places. So this is the hybrid minutes. No, nope, that's as okay. <laughs> no, I I did review these, and I'm okay with it. So I I'm ready to make a motion to approve the minutes for June twenty first, twenty twenty one. Um, and I will second that. Um, all those in favor. Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cal, yes. So those minutes are approved. Um, the doc X is in the um, minutes folder, okay. not in the approved. So the two that we have approved are ready to be PDF'd and moved into the approved section. Okay. And I will try to get at my goal is to get one written per meeting going forward. If I can get two. Great, but at least one so that okay. we can get this done. No, I'm good with that. All right. Um, okay, moving on to appointments um, of officials. We do have uh, appointments today. So the first one is, um, is there a motion to appoint Jason Murray as an associate member of the Zoning Board of Appeals for a term expiring on June 30th, 2022? Um. Yes, I make a motion that we appoint Jason Murray to the Zoning Board of Appeals uh, with a term ending June 30th, 2022. Um, second, I, I should say Veronica Cal second. This is a, uh, um, Zoom, a Zoom meeting. meeting yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, I just want to, by way of discussion, I, I just want to apologize to the CBA for leaving this off the June um, 29th meeting. That was my oversight. So, um, yeah. All those in favor? Yes, Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Kell, yes. All right. Um, and uh, going to 3.2. Um, could I have a motion to appoint Misty DeMazer as our temporary executive assistant to the Board of uh, Selectmen uh, for eight hours a week at the Collins Grade D Step 1 level? This is a non-union position. Uh, Collins Grade D as in David? Yes. Step what? Step 1. Okay. Um, Madam Chair, I make a motion to, um, are we approving or are we appointing or are we hiring? Um, all three. Okay. I, I don't know the specific term. I, I would <laughs> okay. say we are. Um, hiring. Hiring, yeah. Uh, Misty DeMazer as the temporary executive assistant to the Board of Selectmen um, with uh, terms of eight hours and Collins grade D as in David, step one, effective today, J uh, July 2nd, 2021. Uh, Veronica Cal second. Um, and I, I just want to say, um, well, maybe I should say all, um, all in favor. Chas Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. So welcome, Misty. We are so happy to have you joining us. And um, 
we'll give you a call to talk. We will have some paperwork for you to sign um, when you come into the office first. So we will be in touch this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Um, all right, moving on to uh, the work session. Um, to, unless you have anything else before then? Chad? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, moving on to the work session, the town administration updates and reports. Uh, 5.1.1 Guardian IT updates. Um, I, uh, I, I actually have a couple. Um, the first one is that um, I would like permission to create a conservation at townsendma.gov mailbox. Uh, I'm good with that. Same as we have. I thought there was one, but there is not. No, I didn't see one. And I would like to create a general one so that we have a general one so that um, when and if we have, uh, well, I should say when we have the administrator, they can um, manage that particular account. Um, but all emails should be going into uh, an account that's specific to whatever department. And I'd like to get that set up as soon as possible. Um, I have no problem with that. Do right, we need a motion? I, I'll make a motion to create a conservation at townsendma.gov for the Conservation Commission. Second. Um, all those in favor? Chess Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. Uh, the second um, point of business is that um, there was some information in regards to um, uh, there was a billing that came in. I just wanted to notify the board that I submitted that to the accountant. And um, I asked the accountant if she has any questions, she can contact the chair. Um, um, I, didn't, all right. I didn't want to put you on there because I don't want to do an open meeting law violation. Okay, I, I haven't seen that. So I suppose if the accountant um, has questions, she'll go directly to you. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else? No, go ahead. I have a third. Um, I would like to, uh, um, since Misty is now on board, I know that she has a uh, town email address because this is an internal hire. Um, I want to make sure that she has access to the BOS um, files um, that she will need in her uh, position with us. Okay, so, so that goes into my next, actually my next thing is that um, there it has been discussion between Guardian and myself in regards to the onboarding process. Okay. Um, and on the onboarding process that um, uh, once a, a individual would be hired, um, there's a form for Guardian that we both had worked out that needs to be filled out. Um, okay. I, uh, I, do you have like interim change of position things on that form? Because this isn't, you know, Misty's keeping her position at the water department. This no, I understand in that. Addition. Okay. Yep. No, right. but uh, there, she, her credentials are for the water department. It, it is separate than, than what we have for town hall. So okay. I, 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 will, I will definitely take care of that. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this particular form is it would have all of those changes that you're mentioning. Um, okay. If there's a switch on a telephone system, it's a, if it's a switch on an IT system, if it's an addition or a deletion. Um, if someone's going into an apartment, there needs to be a deletion in order to have an addition. And that kind of wasn't happening and some accounts were staying active on, on the IT system. Okay. All right. So. Uh, is that a form that we need to review or is that just internal? Um, it would be internal. What I'd like permission is just to give it to the chair and then the chair can distribute that, to, uh, review it. And if it's, I mean, it's really a basic form, uh, then uh, if you could distribute that to department heads that if they have uh, any new hires or um, any terminations or anybody who is, um, you know, leaving for any, any time, they need to fill out that form and submit it preferably before the person um, uh, leaves um, town so that we can make sure that on the date that they are um, going to be leaving that we can have control of shutting that account on off. Okay. We basically need to back up the system uh, immediately on that day or we won't have any backup. Okay, so what I would like to do then is uh, 
request that the form go into SharePoint and be put on the agenda for our July 9th meeting, which okay. is the next meeting we have planned. Okay. Um, and, and that um, we discuss it then. And depending on the result of that discussion, we have a July 13th department head meeting. Okay. So uh, I could add that to the agenda for that if in okay. fact it's um, ready for that. Okay, so in the interim, I will take care of um, Misty's um, getting set up. Let's put it that way. Yeah, okay. okay. Yep. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to, uh, this is kind of 3.2 going down to 5.1.1, but I see uh, Jared's on the line. Um, so I, just to get her set up in payroll, I'll talk to Jared about that as well okay. to make sure that that's all under control and what he needs for that side of the process okay. of bringing someone new on. All right, I, I might need to fill out that new employee status form um, that, I'll help you, Veronica. that we approved. Jared, could you say that again? I said, I will help you. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I'll be down in a bit. <laughs> All right, um, so that takes care of guard. I have nothing else under guardian, Chaz, do you? I do not. Okay, so moving on to um, finances, municipal release transfers. Um, there were three of them that I put in SharePoint. Um, I'm hoping I did this correctly because this is the first time I am doing this, um, but I will submit these to the accountant and the finance committee if they are approved today. So um, the first one that I want to look at, let me see if I... I might have put them in a different, they might have wound up in a different order, but the first one is the one for um, IT. Uh, we have for the year an overage in spending in IT professional services of about $18,000 that I saw in the expenditure report from June 30th. So I, I am putting an amount requested of $23,000, which will come from uh, FY21 CONCOM wages for the conservation agent of $8,000 and CONCOM wages support staff for $15,000. So that is $23,000 to be moved to MIS professional services to cover the guardian IT bills. And I hope that's enough to cover. Um. So we would need a motion for that. Yeah, I'm looking for... That is what I had on the June 30th expenditure report. And it goes to the Finance Committee. It goes to the Finance Committee um, and the Town Accountant. Do you have these in the Selectman's Meeting folder so I can... Go to SharePoint? Yeah, I'm here. Um, and it's under 5.1.2, I believe. Okay. And there are three, there should be three MRTs. It's oh, July. There it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've looked in the June folder so many times. I, that's where I was. I'm like, July. I can't find it. And I'm in June. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Uh, I want to do this. And just bear with me one second. I have to find that one. They should also okay. be right yeah, there. Yeah, I got it. I got it. This is the IT one. Yeah. Um, Madam Chair, I move that we... Um, that amount of 23,000 be transferred from the CONSCOM wages conservation agent of 8,000 and CONSCOM wages support staff of 15,000 um, to be um, placed in the IT, is it professional services account? Yes. Um, Veronica Cal second. Um, uh, just for discussion, I should say on the form, the balance remaining under the conservation agent is $301.57. Balance remaining under 
CONSCOM support staff is $3,849.60. Correct. All right. Um, so all those in favor? Chad Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. All right. Um, the next one that I have in my pile um, is for uh, vacation buyback. Um, so uh, this is a transfer of $25,000 from the facilities, wages, um, op operational staff. This is a position that was um, never, that was funded but never hired in FY21. So um, 25,000 would be moved from that and go into the line item for BOS wages, other vacation buyback. And the balance remaining in the appropriation would be $5,876.56. Okay, Madam Chair, I make a motion that uh, municipal transfer be transferred of 25,000 be transferred from the facilities wages operational staff and be transferred to the BOS wages others for vacation buyback with a balance remaining in appropriation of in the BOS wages other of $5,876.56. Actually, that would the balance remaining would be in the facilities wages. Sorry, you're correct. Op staff account. Yeah. I, I guess on the form, I, I should clarify that. I, on this one, I didn't. The other one, I think I put the account number there. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Veronica Cal second. Um, any further discussion? I do not. All those in favor? Chess Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cal, yes. Um, Veronica? Yes. Uh, Madam Chairman, I have a question. Sure. Who under contract? has a vacation buyback in the Board of Selectmen's office. Pardon me? Who is this for? Um, Jim Kreidler. Oh, all right. It's part of that agreement. That's fine. Thank you. You're I just welcome. didn't I just didn't know, you know. No problem, Andrea. Just people don't have in general buyback abilities. <laughs> no, you are correct. Um and uh, actually, I didn't read on the form, um, the amount requested to be used for the following reasons is vacation buyback by former TA. Right. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. I should and have this, read that. Yeah, this was voted on well before too, if I remember correctly. Was it? Yeah. Well, uh, yes, um, uh, it was voted on by, um, uh, yeah, I think in April. Yes. When we did contract negotiations. Correct. Um, yes. Uh, and the other, uh, yeah, so that should be because um, we came out into open session and read that. Correct. Um, after that meeting, you are correct. All right. The other um, municipal relief transfer that we have is for um, uh, professional and legal services. This is our overage in that. Um, and our, our overage isn't as high there, but we know I, in the, if you look at the expenditure report, but I know that a bill just came in um, earlier this week that was given to the, um, the accounting office. So in any event, um, uh, this is a buyback for town council professional legal services. And the amount requested is $35,000. The um, looking at the expenditure report, it comes from highway wages other in the amount of 10,000 and the health insurance town share, the amount of 25,000 uh, to be transferred to town council professional legal services. The balance remaining in the appropriation would be $6,529.87 in highway wages other and $5,593.40 in health, health insurance town share. And the reason for the transfer is for um, legal, service, legal services overage. Um, so is there a motion? Yes, Madam Chair, I move that uh, we do a municipal transfer from the highway wages other account 
um, in the amount of 10,000 and a health insurance town share account for 25,000 and transferred to the town council professional legal services account. Uh, second, Veronica Kell. Um, anything else to discuss, Jazz? Nope, this looks okay to me. All right, all those in favor? Chaz Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. All right, so that's the um, three IRTs, and I will um, sign and scan those. They only need to be signed by the chair with the um, date recorded of the vote, and I will get them to the accountant and FinCom. So that's that. All right, on the OWL, um, I, I uh, sat with Dave. Um, Excuse me, Veronica. Yeah. Get them to the FinCom first, because the accountant can't do anything with them until we sign. Um, okay, so I will send you, I, I guess I've been doing it two different ways. One is to sign and give it to both of you, um, and the other is to just send the signed one to you. Send the um, signed one to me, I will get it to the, to the uh, or Lynn will get it to the accountant. Okay. We can't have too many copies of these things flood, flooding along <laughs> into the system. Yeah, I, I, agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, what it says on my form is original to town accountant, copy to finance committee, board of selectmen, the department board or commission. So I, I guess it, that means after both boards have signed, perhaps. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, the, we've done it both ways, Andrea. Okay. The original may be yours, but the real original would have both of our signatures. Right. I agree. Both yeah. committees. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. I'll sign them and, and uh, pop them in. Do you want them scanned to you or do you want me to pop them in the box? If you'd scan them to us, it'd be best. Okay. Thank you. I will do that. Thank you. Let me just make a note. All right. Um, on the OWL, um, Dave and I sat and we looked at um, the expenditure for that. Uh, it would cost us um, $988.10 to purchase that. We voted to purchase um, depending on uh, cost and funding. So um, hang on a minute. So this is roughly, let's say $1,000. The cost is $929.98 uh, for the device itself and estimated tax. And we had a question there um, because I, I believe there should be a tax-free number for the town. Um, but anyway, estimated tax is $58.12. So when you put those together, it's $988.10 for the device. So um, I, I wanted to look at where this, this funding would be coming from. Um, and, and there are two possibilities. Uh, one is MIS equipment. And while I am very quickly going through this, it's not really um, replacement equipment, um, but uh, or we could put it under BOS other charges. There's three thousand dollars in that account for F. This is this is an FY22 expense, not a um, you know not FY21. Correct. So this is going forward. Um, I would think that it would need to go under MIS equipment because it would be something that would have to remain um, in the same equipment closet as all the other equipment that we have. Okay, so there are two lines it. there. One is replacement equipment IT for 18,000 and one is MIS communications 11,500. That one. So, okay, so you are saying MIS communications. That, that I, would be appropriate, I would think. Okay. All right, let me just put this down here. Because if we needed any systems or software for the Board of Selectmen, it would go under that account. Okay. All right. I guess we could have talked about this under Guardian IT, but it really isn't Guardian. It's yeah. <laughs> really our equipment. So, all right. So I have a, a copy. I haven't put this in um, SharePoint. I will 
scan it and put it in then. I do have a hard copy for you and chat, you and Joe. So if you're coming in, the hard copies will be on the file cabinet. Okay. All right. So, all right. Um, I can come in if you want me to come in. It doesn't really matter. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute when we get okay. further down. Okay. Um, I have nothing else under finances. Um, and I have not, I have uh, anything that I'm receiving, I'm sending it to, um, to Jared, our treasurer. So he's okay. handling, he's handling things from there. If it needs your approval or your signature, or it needs the BOS to look at it, then he can send it up. Okay. Madam Chair, I have a question under finances. Absolutely. Are, are, are you going to, um, submit a reserve fund transfer for the boarding up of that building? Oh my goodness. I've talked about that so many times. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, yes, um, that one is from, um, and I, I think I even have that one written up. Uh, let's, let's do that. This is an, um, uh, another MRT. No, it's a reserve fund transfer. It's a reserve fund transfer. Yes. But don't we have to do that as a municipal request transfer? An MRT, don't we need an MRT form from no. the reserved fund into the, um, uh, we were going to put it in, I talked to Terry about this, the BOS, um, uh, where were we putting it? Um, under other supplies, I think it was, or okay. other charges. The reserve fund is a, a fund completely under the control of the finance committee. Yes, but how do, it doesn't, what form do I use to transfer funds for uh, that? On your shared drive, you should have a, re, uh, a reserve fund transfer form. Okay, it, I did it as a municipal relief transfer. Okay. Reserved fund transfer form. Yep. I think that is under the selectman drive. Reserved fund transfer. Form. And that's the only form that you need, Andrea, for that? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I did it on the wrong form anyway. So I will get the correct form and uh, get that signed and turned in. The answer is yes. Thank you. Thank so that you. So that work can be done. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, that would have slipped. But we have. There have been many discussions about that, <laughs> and if we moved it, where do we move it into? And I, I think we put it other supplies. Mm. So, um, as long as the accountant will accept it, wherever you put it, we're all set. <laughs> <laughs> Would I uh, that is the Madam Chair, would we be able to on under finances to be able to communicate with Andrea on our, our um, work sessions here for uh, you know allow her that if there's anything you know that that she sees that is needed, then she can report it out to us at that time. Would that make sense to do that? Andrea, should we make you an official part of our finances discussion report from FinCom or some such thing? Mm. Well, if you don't, I'll probably just butt in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what has, and it's been so helpful. Yeah, so, I agree. Um, so, I mean, I, I think we should allow her the, the opportunity to, you know, because if it's something like this that we missed, I, I think it would be important for her to be able to communicate to us. I agree. All right. So I'm putting this under, um, and it will just be FinCom. I'm going to say FinCom update, maybe just like I have Guardian IT updates yeah, as a sure. regular thing. Does that sure. sound right to you, Chaz and Andrea? Fine with me. Yeah, I'm good with that too. Okay. All I'm right. all for collaboration, you know that. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that in there and uh, we'll make you an official part of the meeting then, Andrea. <laughs> can I go, uh, even though I'm the clerk of the FinCom, can I go to your department head meetings? Can I attend them? They're under oh. your control, so I don't have to. I mean, you can say no. Oh, uh, no, I have no problem with that. Chaz? I don't have a problem with that either. I think that um, would be most helpful, actually. Okay, so I am going to add 
uh, FinCom. Uh, should I send it to you as the clerk then, Andrea? Yeah. Everything um, that comes to me, I at least CC to everyone on the committee. So when you contact me, you've contacted everyone. Okay. okay. Um, all right, I'll put you in for our July 13th meeting. Um, all right, uh, anything else before I move on to interim search? No, nope, I'm good. Okay, so thank you. Um, let me just... I'm just trying to make sure I didn't um, miss anything. All right, so um, as far as the uh, interim search committee goes, I had sent out a form and I did hear back uh, from people. I just wanna make sure that I've, um, I haven't missed anybody. So uh, just give me a minute here. All right, so what I have for um, the, the search committee um, is I have uh, two from clerical who will be sharing with one vote. Um, I don't have anything from supervisors. Um, I have Highway Water as Kevin Keefe being the representative. Um, uh, I don't have anything from police the police union. Um, and then from fire, I have Marty Scott. I have two for um, non-contractual, um, uh, no, non-union. So that would be Jared and Stacy are the two there. And then three BOS. So uh, if Jody and Janet are sharing with one vote, I am good with Jared and Stacy sharing with one vote. Mm -hmm. If I don't hear back from the supervisors or police um, by the end of the day today, I'll send them an email just to confirm um, whether or not they have a person coming forward for this, then I would recommend that we make Jody and Janet and Jared and Stacy full-time people. So we would be revising what we wanted for the, in for the interim committee. Right. Correct. I just want to get moving on this so that we. Me too. Yep. Um, so, I mean, we can, have we, have we contacted for the interims and, and set up anything there? No, not yet. Can we do that as well? Uh, yes, as soon as we have um, resumes, but I want meetings set up with the interim search committee so that when an interim request comes in, we can review it right away. I, I understand that, but I'm saying let's, I want to get things moving as quickly as possible. We are moving as quickly as we can. Oh. So the answer is yes, we will do that. As Joe um, says, there's 24 hours in a day. I know, I know, you know. <laughs> so anyway, so back to the committee. Um, are we good with that? I will contact the supervisors and the police with, uh, you know, say this is what we have. If in fact we don't get a response for the um, supervisors and the police, we will make the shared position a dual position. Yep, I'm okay with that. Um, so, or a separate position. All right, um, so I'll send that out after the meeting. All right, um, uh, Conservation Commission update. Um, uh, Conservation Commission update. Uh, I, I would just say that we have a hearing that is continuing to August 3rd at 5.30. Um, we are getting the conservation email set up. Uh, we will be holding um, uh, an interview this week for a um, agent uh, um, application that came in in May that the Board of Selectmen was unaware of. 
Uh, so the Conservation Commission will be holding um, an interview for that applicant. And that's the only update I have. Uh, no, the Board of Selectmen will be holding a, if I said that wrong, the yes. Board of Selectmen will be holding uh, the interview. Um, so that is it. That's all I have. Um, okay, so I also wanna, I did not see on the town website the, unless I'm looking in the wrong spot, I did not see the um, administrator position for CONSCOM on the, on the town website. It has not been posted. Okay. Um, we will post that one. Um, it was taken down in April because the job was hired and it was, we, um, we haven't put that back up yet. We okay. have a posting, but it hasn't gone on the website yet. Okay. Can, is that going to be going back up? Yep. The fiscal okay. year started. Yeah. So. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There are several. The ones that we've discussed are going up. Good. Okay. Um, so, uh, anything else? No, not, in, not for that. No. Not for that. Okay. 5.1.6, um, approve the unregistered vehicles, uh, letter um, that I have the template. I haven't filled in the applicants. I will be doing that. And I, I would just, um, uh, I will put that in SharePoint um, and I'm going to need you to look at it and say, yay, nay. Is this the same letter that the selectmen sent out previously after it's their- It's been sent out previously many times with just right. these changes made. So I so don't I'm, even know that it needs approved. I'm, I'm comfortable with you just sending that out, ma'am. All right, so I will do that. I will confirm the letter before I send it uh, with the officer, just to make sure I have the right attachments put in. And that will go out next week. Okay. All right. Um, uh, reports from board liaisons. I don't think I have any. Um, do you? Liaison, yes. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm sorry. I was in a, in a rush before I jumped on here. Um, I wanted to report that the Recreation Committee did their load in yesterday uh, at the Hawthorne um, they're using the cafeteria and the outside grounds um, that appeared to be um, that the went very cafeteria or the gym. I mean, the gym. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and that went very smoothly. Um, and then I did uh, have a conversation with um, Parks and Cemetery yesterday. Um, it was a, a nice conversation, um, looking at uh, just really basically. Um, introducing myself as liaison and just uh, talking about what uh, what and if the selectmen can help out with anything with that particular department at this time um, but i have nothing to report um and that's all i have as far as that oh i will add one other thing um shared streets and spaces we are going back out for bid on that uh we're gonna um uh the shared streets and spaces um procurement consultant from the state uh, is working with the Shared Streets and Spaces team on um, looking at the bid and how it was uh, done previously and how it can be done um, differently going forward. So that we hope to get out uh, next week again. So okay. there's, that is ongoing with that um, team. Okay. Um, we do have, I will also, while I'm reporting on grants, um, the wild and scenic, um, I need to get with that group. I think we are waiting on from the Conservation Commission a notice of intent application that was put in for that that has not yet been acted on. So in order to go forward with those, the, we have received grant funds already for Parks and Rec to go, or Cemetery and Parks to go forward with that. Uh, we need to have the NOI um, reviewed by mm -hmm. the uh, local commission. Um, MISA has already uh, ruled um, and, and said the project can go forward. Good. So we are waiting. All right. 
Uh, announcements or communications? I don't have anything there. Um, I just wanted to um, thank everybody who showed up to the um, the Wall That Heals ceremony yesterday. Um, it was uh, for me. It was very emotional because I've had personally had a couple of. Um, um, individuals. I, I may look young, but I'm a lot older than what I look. And uh, the the Vietnam War era was was very um, um, tumultuous, to say the least. Um, but it was very nice to be able to to bring the wall back to Townsend. And and you know the um, the speakers that we had, uh, it was very impactful. I thought the fire department did a great job with the presentation of colors. There was a proclamation um, from the the senator, so it, it things worked out really well. But I just want to thank the uh, community for your support. I want to thank everybody for their. Uh, uh, showing up and, and volunteering and helping out with that. Um, this is a once in a lifetime kind of thing for, uh, for the town, I think, and for any individual. And if you get a chance, I know it's going to be rainy for the next couple of days, but please go out and visit the wall. And, and it's just, uh, I think it's, it's your own personal way to salute the, uh, the veterans who did uh, risk a lot to, uh, to, to help us out with the Vietnam uh, era war. Um, but uh, again, I just wanted to thank everybody for showing up. Um, and I think I would add that there is um, a dedication ceremony on Saturday at mm -hmm. 5 p.m. Correct. at uh, the high school. So if you missed um, yesterday's ceremony, which you can, you should be able to um, soon watch on um, the either Channel 9 or post it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, but if you missed it, um, next opportunity is 5 p.m. on Saturday yeah. for the ceremony. And uh, that yesterday, it, it was rain, rainy. Well, um, they moved it into the gym. So the, the high school has permitted that to be an indoor space for the ceremonies. Um, if you're concerned about the rain, don't let the rain keep you from coming. Correct. Correct. So, uh, thank you, Chaz. Yep. Thank you thank for being you. our presenter mm -hmm. at yesterday's ceremony. Yeah, it was fun. Um, so moving on to 5.4 and 5.5, uh, we have the MOU for the MRPC Green Communities Grant that we approved at our regular meeting. Uh, when was that? The 15th of July. Mm -hmm. um, and that needs to be signed. They need it back at MRPC on uh, Friday, of, uh, they have to turn it in on Friday of next week, I believe. I think it's the 9th. Um, so I, I planned on coming in. Coffee. I planned on coming in, um, I would say, probably before four o'clock to do anything signed. If you want to put it out in the normal spot, I'll be right there. It'll be there. So, okay. whenever you can, and then I'll scan it and get it back to MRPC. Okay. Uh, so, um, I guess we need a motion to sign that out of session as well as bills payable for next week because our next meeting is not until July 9th at noon. So I make a motion that we sign the MOU uh, for MRPC in regards to the, is that the green spaces one? Green communities. Green communities, out of session. Uh, Veronica Kell second. All those in favor? Chess Sextenderanian, yes. Veronica Cow, yes. All right, and then also a motion for bills payable warrant. Uh, I make a motion that we pay, we sign bills payable um, warrants out of session. Uh, Veronica Cow, second. All those in favor? Chess Sexton Duranian, yes. Uh, Veronica Cow, yes. Um, our next meeting is July 9th at noon. Um, and uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Madam Chair, I make a motion that we adjourn at 1247. Uh, Veronica Cal second. All those in favor? Chess Sexton Duranian, yes. Veronica Cal, yes. Have a good weekend, everybody. Great. Remember that Monday is the 4th of July holiday. Um, so, you know, not the day itself, but it's a day off. So enjoy the weekend. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you.